Hello and welcome to this hopefully short idea video I'm making a few of, I think. So this is the first one. This is... I figured out that you can use one 595 to control 16 LEDs. This would be ideal if you want to make a 16-step sequencer of some kind, uh, which... I, among others, might want to do, uh, and you don't want to use too much components and don't have enough space for that, maybe. Um, before I, yeah, you see it in front of you, uh, it's working eight up there, eight up there, eight up there, eight down there, maybe I should say, and just one 595 in there, three pins, and plus and minus. So, achieve this goal, we need to do some math, some multiplication. We remember in school when you asked what am I ever going to use this for? This is that time. And usually what you do, we have the eight pins of the 595 and we connect those to eight LEDs and connect the other side of the LED to ground. That's what we usually do. Eight times one equals eight. But if we instead start to use the pins and connect them to each other, uh, we get a few different results. So 7 times 1, if we take 7 of the pins and connect it to one of the pins, we get 7. So that's not very good. But if we take 6 of the pins and connect to 2, we get 12, 5 to 3, 15. And the magic number, of course, if we connect 4 of the pins to four, uh, the other 4 pins, we get 16. And I have a better visualization in... Falstad, and it looks like this. So here are the pins with the values 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. That are the values of the eight pins. So when you want to turn on or off these pins, these are the values you need to send to the 595. These ones, if you put it on, it's high, off, it's low. Up here, for this to work in Falstad, I had to do it the other way around because it's connected to ground here and 5 volts here. So when it's off, it's on. It's When it's off, it's a 1 or a high. And when it's on, it's a low. So this means if we want to turn on the first LED, we need to turn the first pin high and the others low. So 1, 0, 0, 0. And then we need to connect this one to ground. So we need to turn this pin off, like so. And the others need to be on. So no voltage will go through here. If we turn them off as well, they will all light up, uh, which is good for some applications, of course. But in this case, we need Z one zero 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 one 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 and if we look in my test sketch here for this the one that is running on my arduino we will see here that this one on off 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 on 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 that will give us a value of 225 if we want to show the second led instead we turn that on and we only sh and that one is lit which is as we see one value more 226 and then we add two more so we start the four bit and that is then 228 232 is another four bits so the eight bit if we want to turn on the fifth bit we go back turn on the first bit turn on the fifth bit and turn off the sixth bit. So this actually gives us a lower value, 209 instead of 225. Uh, and then again, the second bit, the fourth, or the two bit, the four bit, and the eight bit. And then we go down even lower when we turn on the, what's that, the ninth bit, and so on and so forth. So I think this is the best way to visualize this. On this paper, this visualization up here is kind of the same. Um, 
and here we also have the pin numbers of the 595 and down here we have how we are supposed to connect these so this pin 15 uh, is where we connect LED 1, 5, 9 and 13 the A node of those four LEDs and then LED 2, uh, 6, 10, 14 A node and you can read this here and then we have the cathode of 1, 2, 3, 4 cathode of 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 so this creates that grid as we saw as you see up here and as you see here so if we go into the program and look a little bit more serious on this one we have the three pins latch data and clock pins we have the steps so i have made an array here of all the steps that i'm using so this represents led one two three four and so forth uh, i've calculated these values for how I need to set the 595 pins high or low. We then do the setup and set the pin mode and in the sketch we just step through the 16 values of the array and just do a shift out on that and that's that's as simple as this is of course if you want to use this in a sequencer you need to be a bit more specific <laughs> of how you do it and such but uh, just a quick sketch to show you how to do this i'll put a link to the falstad and to the sketch so you can play around a bit and figure this out as you'd like Hope you learned something and that you can make use of this in your own creations. Take care. Bye.